The United States, how far do they get in this tournament? In this tournament? In this tournament. I feel they get pretty far. You think they get pretty far? Yeah. I would think they would get... I think we get smacked by Algeria. Really? I think we get smacked. Why? You think they play a more solid foundation of football and that they have more of an identity? Yeah, I think Algeria kind of plays like Mexico, but cleaner and a bit more organized and a lot less temperamental. And I don't know how the U.S. would stack up against that. Yeah, I guess that's a good point. I, I mean, the U.S. to me is straight raw talent. Or straight athleticism to me. And athleticism. I'll, We're like, I'll give you that. Big, strong guys. Just pretty much what we got going for us. We're physical. But, I mean, who's banging a shot 30 yards out? Do we have a single player who can do that? Maybe Gio Reyna, maybe. Yeah, if he's healthy. If he, Yeah. I mean, he's young. That guy's going to be a stud one day. But my point is just like, I think... I think we would get to the quarters and lose. I was going to say the semis. The, se the semis? Okay. Let's pull up the groups again. I'm looking at them right now. I'm going to ask you group by group. Does the U.S. win group A? I think they get second behind Cameroon. I, I agree. What about group B? Especially if the if the U.S. boys are playing in Africa. Ain't no fucking way I think they're winning any group, honestly. Now, okay. now if they played neutral, okay, maybe a little better. If they played at home, I think they would win a group. Okay, what about Group C? Do you think they finish a do you think they finish third? Or did, did they finish above Ghana? I think Ghana would be their main competition. So they they'd both be fighting for second and third. Okay. What about what about E with Algeria and Ivory Coast? Think we can beat Ivory Coast? That'd be a really cool game to see. That'd be an amazing game. I think our back line would get fucking sliced. Yeah. I agree. I think Des gets turned inside out. I think Yedlin pushes up too much. I think Anthony Robinson is just not good enough. I just don't just, think those are our national team players, you know, they, they face good competition when they're at their clubs, but they don't, they don't face good competition when these guys are playing for their country. I mean, like, mm -hmm. like we were talking about in the beginning, some people turn up the fucking burners for their national team. You know, they play with a different level of intensity and, you know, I mean, our, our guys, you know, they won the gold cup and they're, they're on a good streak right now. Um, you know, and they had a great 2021, and I hope that they qualify for the World the World Cup, but it's going to be a, a wake-up call, I feel, for a lot of them where, like, they're going to be fighting for their lives over in uh, uh, over in Qatar. Mm -hmm. No, I, I agree. Um, this would be, God, it would be, it would be fantastic if the U.S., for some unknown reason, was invited to a tournament like this because... This is exactly what the team needs. And Connor and I have talked about this extensively with the Copa America too. Like, I wish Mexico and the U.S. win every time. Not because they're going to win, but because they yeah, need that. They need practice. They need to not play. They need to play Brazil when it's Brazil's first team and Brazil is trying to win. Not when it's like the fourth string guys who only they're play in the Brazilian team. league. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, everyone's like 18 years old playing our starters in Los Angeles, and we still draw. That's I'm not curious, what we need. 